I knew Carrie because I trained her. I was a field training officer when she first came on, so she rode with me, I believe, first out of the academy, possibly second. But she rode with me for a month so that I could train her how to help, and then we just became friends after that. And I was on the board for Special Olympics with her also. Was she pretty easy to become friends with? Yes. Uh, when we first started, I, I kind of thought she was, I'm going to sound rude, aren't I? <laughs> I thought she was kind of small town, you know, naive. And I just realized over time that that's just who she was. She was super nice and got along with everyone. And uh, that's how, you know, I, I just became friends with her because even though I'm kind of not as nice as she is, uh, she just she put out this glow, this smile all the time. And no matter how angry you were, um, she made you happy. So she was a good person to be around. Absolutely. What about you? How did you know Carrie? <laughs> um, I actually came on with Carrie. So we went through the academy together, and then I've been friends with her ever since. We worked at a crew together for a little bit, but for the most part, we've just been friends in and out of work. Nice. Easy to immediately become a friend? Absolutely. <laughs> she made us laugh from day one in the academy, and we, our entire class will attest to that. And, uh, yeah, just a very giving and warm-hearted person. And just kind of like Officer Phillips said, I mean, we're just – None of us feel like we can be as nice and as helpful as Carrie and just um, everything that she's given to the community and what she's given to us as, as her friend has just been amazing. Absolutely. So talk, um, Alex, both of you, this, why is this important, um, this trip to kind of D.C. And, and raising funds for this? I would say that uh, it's because in the law, for, law enforcement community we've lost so many people this year. Um, obviously not just here, all over the globe. Uh, the numbers have kind of spiked in the last couple months. And I feel like it's very important, especially since we lost one of our officers, to go out there and support all the other communities that have lost officers. Um, Omaha is a very supportive community, but not everyone has that. Uh, so I think that it's, it's good for us to stand behind those people um, and to tell them that we're there for them and that, unfortunately, we've experienced this too and, and what we can do whatever uh, we can help. Uh, we'll, we're there for them. Right. You're one big family. Yep. Absolutely. For you, kind of same thing? Or? Yeah, the same thing. I mean, it's not only it's, – it's not just about carry for us. This uh, – a lot of the law enforcement community as a whole, I know people hear it a lot, but we really are one big family. And um, knowing about the losses in other communities as well, in other states, it's it's been a really difficult year. And I think just us going out there and being able to show our support, not only for Carrie, but for all the officers um, and their families and their law enforcement communities. And just it, to, to let them know that we're there with them and uh, we, we stand next to them. 